This is what the allies in Afghanistan are up against. The two boxes the men are carrying have 24 kilos of dry opium inside. The trafficker paid the equivalent of 1,700 pounds for them. He carefully stashes the donut-shaped drugs into his car. They're hidden in every spare space, under the seats, along the side panels in the boot. Even the air filter is stuffed. It's done in broad daylight, but this is the Tora Bora mountain area, hugging the Pakistani border, an area still firmly controlled by the Taliban and drug warlords. Even so, the trafficker complains about the difficulties. We're taking it from here to the border, he says, but there are lots of police and checkpoints. We're scared of getting robbed by thieves, so we have our own guards. There's a short car journey through barren desert before the car's ditched and the rest of the trip is done on foot. A five-hour climb high up into the mountains. It's dark by the time the opium's dropped off at one of the many mobile labs operating in holes cut out of the mountainside. There are about 40 in this area alone. It takes a small team and very rudimentary facilities to turn the opium into heroin, which will fetch their drug masters tens of thousands of pounds. For two hours they mix and stir adding chemicals and boiling. For this, the workers will make roughly nine pounds a night. Small change in the West, but about ten times what the average Afghan makes daily. These aren't sophisticated methods. They're not hard to learn. It makes for relatively easy money in a country rated as one of the poorest. The raw materials turned into heroin powder in a house in the nearby village. The most dangerous part of this whole process is not being busted, but transporting combustible chemicals. All these pictures, this is the raw heroin slowly crystallizing, were taken just days ago. From here, the drug is smuggled into Pakistan and onto Europe. It shows just how dramatically Britain's efforts to stop heroin production seems to be failing. There is a big overlap between the insurgency and uh, drugs. And the Taliban are saying to people in the Helmand Valley, we'll protect your opium crop, we'll protect your poppy fields. Uh, if you come and uh, fight with us, uh, we're on the side of uh, uh, those who are producing the drugs. It's Britain which is leading the international counter-narcotics push here, including training the Afghans. But success is elusive. Every drugs find here impacts in the UK. 90% of heroin sold on British streets comes from here. But millions of pounds and thousands of troops haven't stopped opium production. Instead, it's up by more than a third in a year. This is just one kilo of heroin. It's worth about 50,000 pounds in the UK. This whole cell is filled with 600 kilos of heroin. It took just one month to pick up and that was just in Kabul, not the whole of the country. And it has a street value in Europe of about 80 million pounds. The terrorists have been deprived of this drug's money. But it's a tiny proportion of the rest they'll spend on weapons and bombs to target the British and other international troops here. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Kabul.